Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and guess what? It's football time! Well, we don't have any more Thursday games, and we can all be thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's Wild Card Weekend. So you're ready for your Wild Card Weekend picks? Well, I'm ready for my Wild Card Weekend picks. Unfortunately, the Chicago Bears did not. <laughs> my, my Chicago Bears didn't make the playoffs. But I got Bear Town coffee. Mmm. Nothing like Bear Town coffee. Okay, so let's have a little recap of what happened last week. The old man lost and is out of the playoffs. I can't believe, like I said, I've only got Atlanta right once the whole season. That's right, once. Once I picked Tampa Bay to beat Atlanta and Atlanta won and the old man's out. There he's not out. I'm just kidding. They won the division. They're they're going to be in the playoffs, but they ain't going anywhere. Uh, so uh, interesting. So who's going to be the sleeper teams? What happened? The wonderful, wonderful Detroit Lions. All you Lion fans out there, you're like us Bear fans. You know, we're like, hey, we got to get back to the top of the division. We got to start winning. We got to get the Super Bowl. Let's let's get going. Blah 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 blah. blah. Well, you be. Mr. Arrogant, no good for nothing quarterback, and they're out of the playoffs. Nothing made me happier. Now, a friend of mine is a cheesehead, and he's crying in his soup. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. Of course, he always ribs me because their team won more than my team, but it doesn't really matter. You didn't make the playoffs. You're 12 and 5. Well, I guess it would be 12 and 5 now because they play 17 games, and you don't make the playoffs. Who cares if you only won three and didn't make the playoffs? Well, of course, you know, you know. So, we're into the playoffs. What kind of crazy things happened else? Uh, oh, oh, the Chargers lost. Wow. Chargers lost. Isn't that amazing? I just, hmm, craziness. Anyways, last week I got 12 correct, which was phenomenal. To get 12 right one week is uh, amazing. It's just that uh, you can't buy straight up tickets. You know, you gotta, if it's within three, it's a tie. Anyways. Let's get down to the playoffs. We got Seattle going to San Francisco on Saturday, January 14th. And, uh, hmm, will Seattle be able to win this game? All you Seahawks fans out there are sure are thinking you can win this game. All these 49er fans are thinking we're going to win. What do I think? I think the 49ers are going to win because the 49ers have a very good team. Very, very, very good team. In fact, nobody wants to play the 49ers. Not even the Eagles. So everyone's hoping Seattle win this game. But I'm going to take the 49ers. Going to be a lot closer than what people think, though. Then we got the Chargers going into Jacksonville. And uh, I just want to let you know, if you want to skip through this, home picks all the way across the board. Uh, no. Not going to do home picks all the way across the board. Because not all the home teams are going to win. Even though on Wild Card Weekend, home field advantage, 90% win. Pretty crazy. So the Chargers are going into Jacksonville, and Jacksonville, whoo, they got something going on there. Now, I haven't really been paying attention to Jacksonville because I honestly didn't think they were going to make the playoffs, but they did. And they got a home game, and they got the Chargers coming to town. Are the injuries fixed on the Chargers? Are they? Well, if they are, I'm going to pick the Chargers. So I got to take an away team. One of these away teams are going to win. Is it going to be the Giants? Is it going to be Miami, Baltimore, Dallas? Like one of these away teams going in are going to win. So I'm going with the Chargers. And a squeaker, absolute squeaker. Two seconds to go, win the game. Miami going into Buffalo. Buffalo is motivated. They are motivated more than they've ever been motivated. And they're motivated right down to their little pinky toes. So uh, I would originally... Uh, there was a time there Miami was doing very well, but I do not think Miami can win this game in Buffalo, especially if it's cold. Uh, they got the Giants going to Minnesota. This was the other one I was thinking. The Giants could beat Minnesota. Minnesota, I do not think, is as good as their record, but their record's their record. So they are as good as their record because that's their record. Kind of crazy. Same as when you're losing. You only won three games. Well, that's your record. You're not very good. 
Uh, Giants could absolutely win this game. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And a friend of mine is a Giants fan, and I really want to pick the Giants. But I'm not. I'm going to take Minnesota. Then we got Baltimore going into Cincinnati, and they just played, and Cincinnati won, and so I'm taking Cincinnati. Unless something crazy happens, watch out. Cincinnati's hot. They were in the Super Bowl last year, and there was a reason. They started out the year like a high school football team playing in the NFL, and now they're kind of playing like an NFL team. So, can they hold it together? They seem to be holding it together. So, and I personally think Cincinnati would have beat Buffalo in the game that got canceled. Because uh, I picked them. Anyways, uh, I don't think Baltimore can pull this off. So, I'm going to go with Cincinnati. And then we got Dallas going into Tampa Bay. Into the old man club. They're in the playoffs. Ooh, scary. Have you seen the headlines? Craziness. Dallas will win this game unless in the first quarters there's some injuries. And I don't mean offensive injuries. I mean defensive injuries. If that happens, there's a couple of key players on their defense. If they got hurt in the first quarter, Dallas will not be able to win this game. But I'm going to take them. So I took two away teams. Maybe I should take the Jacksonville, Jacksonville instead of the Chargers. One of these away teams are going to win. Dallas is the most likely to win. And they should win. And they should have absolutely no problem winning. So, but I'm going to stick with it. We'll stick with the Chargers. They burnt me all season long. Mm, let's go with it. Let's go with them. Uh, we're going to stick with them. We're going we're gonna to stick with the picks, and those are the picks. So, wild card week, and here we go. Uh, remember, home teams have a definite advantage when it hits wild card weekend. In fact, in the playoffs, home teams usually take it. A worse home team will beat a better away team almost every time. Kind of crazy, but that's how it goes. So, thank you for tuning in. We only have a couple weeks left, and we're going to have the Super Bowl. My picks for the Super Bowl are... San Francisco. Buffalo. No. Eagles. Chiefs. There you go. Eagles, Chiefs. There's my pick for wild card weekend. Who's going to be in the Super Bowl? And you're going, but they're the ones with the bye. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. They're the ones in the bye. So this is what I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick Eagles Chiefs because they got the bye. Or it's going to be 49ers against Buffalo. Those are my picks for the Super Bowl. Of course, I'll change it next week depending on maybe both those teams will lose. San Francisco and Buffalo will lose. And, well, that's a stupid pick. I'll have to go back to the first one. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a wonderful football weekend. I've got my salsa going. Uh... Oh, I'm down a jar. It's so good. I'll see you in the future.